Hi guys, today I'm going to unbox and show you the Wolfang Action Camera GA300. Yeah, Wolfang is a really huge company regarding action cameras. They have a lot of really good cameras. I've already tested a couple of them and they worked all really, really good. And so here we have some of the specs. We have a 4K with 60 frames per second. And that's the huge advantage of this camera compared to the GA200 that we have 60 frames per second and not only 30 frames per second in 4 k resolution then of course we have a 40 meter waterproof housing we have an external microphone like the ga100 ga200 didn't have an external microphone and this can definitely help especially for selfies vlogging this thing and then we have also remote control so let's open the box and see what we get so we get the full user manual which describes everything in detail and it comes with a lot of mounts a lot of accessories so here we have them but first let's start with the camera beautiful one really nice case we have the four standard buttons the ga200 had the screen here in the front here we have the four buttons and the one standard like mode function here in the front so let's open it yeah looks like it's a really solid case beautiful nice camera with all the buttons everything what we need and so here on the side we have the micro SD card opening so we can buy our own there's no micro SD card in the packaging so we just push it inside then we have the micro USB port and we get also micro USB cable we can use it for charge but we can also use it for data transfer to transfer all the videos and photos to our computer we get also two batteries but we don't get a charger but we can charge the batteries directly here inside nice lithium ion batteries with huge capacity then we have also a standard quarter inch tripod mount here and here you can see also all the other accessories you can see we get this really nice bike mount a lot of other mounts a lot of adapters here something for the helmet then the external microphone which i really love also the remote control and we have the three different housings i mean this is like a two in one so we can remove the back door this is the waterproof back door but we can replace it with the half open back door we just push it here inside and then we have these two openings here which allow for better heat dissipation and also for better microphone quality but when you know that you're recording in perfectly dry condition you can even use this mount here just push it over here and you can see uh, everything is fully accessible buttons and the microphone everything so we have to remove all the protectors to have good quality picture and also the screen we turn it on here is a long press like standard we can choose the settings like the language and also just date and time and after that we are ready to format the micro sd card here inside which is important to avoid any kind of problems and after that we are ready to shoot the videos and here we have all the settings we can choose from different video resolutions you can see we have up to 4k in 60 frames but of course we can also choose lower resolution or lower frames so let's try with the 4k 60 frames then the image stabilization one of the most important things is an action camera we turn it on here and let's see we are still at 4k 60 frames this is very important that it stays in the 4k 60 frames even after turning on the image stabilization some of the cameras go to lower resolution or lower frame rates this stays exactly 4k 60 frames also with electronic stabilization so we can see that here definitely good stabilization but we are going to check that outside then we have also some common settings here like the sounds uh, different angles of course we are already on wide and we have a diving mode we have different effects we have distortion calibration we have the driving mode so we can use it as a dash cam 
and we can easily switch to the photo mode just with pushing here you are in the photo mode you can see the different settings and so we can adjust them easily also from here photo resolutions you can see the different resolutions different image quality iso ev compensation metering or date stamp which we can have in the picture or video itself then also some settings should be the same as in the video settings and then also some general settings here again sounds angle and a lot of thing we can even use the external microphone use it upside down activate the screen saver or deactivate it have the auto power off power frequency white balance daytime language format car system a lot of things as you can see and of course we have also the built-in digital zoom here as you can see we can zoom in i think eight times which is quite a lot but of course it's not optical zoom it's just a digital zoom means crop actually but especially if it's the video mode this can definitely help when we push here in the front again we have the choice of playback or video setup or photo setup so we can play it directly from here so a really nice player already built in here but of course it will be much better to see on a pc but you have also the special functions in the video mode when we long press here it goes automatically into these special functions where we can see loop recording time lapse slow motion fast motion and wi-fi and same thing we have also in the photo mode so when we long press here then it shows the special functions of the photo mode like burst time lapse self timer long exposure and also Wi-Fi activation, deactivation, but we can also slide up and have these special functions. And with a short press here, we can activate the Wi-Fi as well. Then you will get the SSID and password, so you can connect it to the app. And when you're in the video mode with this button here, you can activate or deactivate the microphone. And I've already tested the microphone first with the built-in microphone. Of course, uh, it was a little bit on the lower sensitivity, but other than that, I would say it's decent for such a camera. And that's a microphone recording test with the built-in microphone. Microphone test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And after that, I've tested it with the external microphone and that worked, of course, much better. That's the microphone test with the external microphone with the Wolfgang GA300. You can see we get even a clip. We could use that here. Higher sensitivity and much higher quality. So this is what I recommend to use the external microphone if you can. Then regarding the field of view, I've double checked that I was on the widest angle, widest view and the maximum which I got was around 90 degrees. Then I've been recording some 4K 60 frames per second video and it looked really good really nice i would say decent stabilization good colors everything what we need but i had the impression that in 1080p it has even a little bit a better image stabilization i've also done a comparison to the ga 200 from wolfgang and based on my impression the ga 300 video footage is even a little bit better not in particular regarding the stabilization stabilization are both on a very good level but regarding the colors i would say the colors on the ga 100 are a little bit too strong and on the ga 200 they look very natural but they are almost a little bit washed out and here on the ga 300 i would say they are on an absolute perfect level so I'm super happy with it. Everything is looking good, good, solid. Build all the functions, what we need, easy to use with these buttons here. And with a ton of accessories, this would be a perfect set, perfect gift maybe for Christmas. So I can give you full recommendation. And if you are interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.